Hello and welcome to Database Management Systems. I'm Javita Christie. And in this video, I'm going to create a program in BLSQL to check if a given number is a prime number or not. And this title of this video is putting it all together because uh, in this you'll be using most of the constructs in PLSQL that you have studied so far. For example, you know how to take input from the user, how to um, how to you know use if statements and else statements, and how to uh, use a loop, and how to use uh, different math functions inside which are built in inside a PLSQL program. So without further ado, let's begin. So let's put it all together. We'll begin with a simpler program, which is the prime number program. So in the prime number program, uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to just you know, take a minute to explain what a prime number is. Uh, many of you might already know this, but if you don't know it, I'll just explain it very quickly to you. So prime numbers are numbers that are not divisible by any number except one and the number itself. So for example, if you take a number seven, then seven is divisible only by one and seven and nothing else. So seven is a prime number. And if you take 10, then 10 is divisible by one, 10 is divisible by 10, but 10 is also divisible by five and two. And that's why 10 is not a prime number because it's divisible by other numbers too, other than the ones that we, um, other than the number itself and one. So that is why prime number is a program that is uh, very common in, in any type of programming language you learn. They'll probably ask you to create a prime number program. So we're going to do the same and we're going to do it in PLSQL. Now there are, uh, how would you do it? Now you might think that because I gave you the number 10, you would have to start dividing 10 by one and then two and then three and four up to 10 by everything. Now that's not necessary. First thing, you don't need to divide anything by one because we know everything is already divisible by one. So there's no point in dividing anything by one. Then the next thing is uh, there's no point dividing anything by 10 because um, it's the number itself and we know the number itself is going to divide the number. So we wouldn't go up to that. So do we need to go from two to nine? No, actually not. Because if you go only, um, actually it, it, it has been proven that if you go only uh, up to the root of the number, that means you start from two and go up to root 10, whatever that number comes to, just you know round it up and maybe take a ceiling function and go up to that number, then that is the most efficient program. So that's what I'm also going to do. I'm going to go, starting from uh, two up to uh, the root of the number. And if you do not want to go to the root of the number, you could also go up to the, uh, you could also go up to the half of the number. So you could do uh, two to 10 by two, you could go up to that. You could go from two to five, that's also fine. So we're going to start and uh, make the program and I'm going to use the root function because I would also like to explain how you can use the inbuilt functions in SQL within a PLSQL program. So let's start. And again, I'm going to do everything in Notepad++. Uh, sorry, not Notepad++, it's just simple Notepad. So you don't have to install anything. This comes in your computers already. So this is Notepad and I'm going to write the code here. And once it's written, I'll copy and paste it into my command line. So this is my command line of uh, SQL plus. And once again, download instructions and installation instructions are given in another video. You can watch that. Now here, uh, username you need to enter. So I'm entering the username and I'm entering the password. Now, once this is done, I can now uh, write my code. So I'm going to go to the notepad and I'm going to write my code here. 
So first I'll uh, do the declare block as is the custom. And to declare, I'm going to declare a variable n, which would be my number, which I can take from the user. In this case, I'm just going to pass it. So this is n number, that the, that's the data type. And if I want to take it from the user, I have to use ampersand n. So this will ask the user to enter the number. And then I'm going to use a variable i. This is uh, just to run the loops and all. And I'm also going to declare a temp variable and you'll come to know why I have declared it soon enough. Now let's write the begin clause. After the begin clause, now what I'm going to do is uh, directly assign, uh, you know, directly start the loop. So in this case, I'm going to use a for loop because it, it works uh, very well for me. So I'm going to use a for loop. You could use a while loop or, or the simple loop structure in PLSQL. That's also fine. Uh, I'm going to use the for loop. So I'll write for i in and I want this i variable to go from 2 up to the root. So that I have already explained. So this would go up to the root of the number. And to do that, I can uh, go back up here and find out the square root of this number by using the SQRT math function present, which is inbuilt in SQL. And here I'm going to pass the number. And of course, I need a variable to store it. So I'm going to store it, let's say, in a J variable. So J is equal to this. And definitely, I have not declared my J variable. So I do need to declare J. So I will declare J right up here. That's the advantage. You can go up and change whatever you like when you're working in Notepad. Now, once J is declared, now, obviously, this number might turn out to be some decimal number, and I don't want that. So I would want a round value. So I could use a ceiling function. So once again, I can write down J is equal to seal of J, which, which is another mass function in PLS. So once that is settled, now I can go from 2 up to J. That is the for loop. And of course, to run the for loop, I need to still write the keyword loop. Now to check if my number n is divisible by this i value or not, I need to uh, use the modulo function, which is also another math function, where you pass the number and you pass the number that's going to divide this number. And if this is zero, that means it is uh, divisible. And once again, it's a single equal to not double equal to in PLSQ also. Just be careful of that. So if this is zero, then uh, that means this number is not a prime number. So what I would like to do in that case is set my temp variable to zero. So um, initially what I'll do is in the begin portion, I'll keep my temp variable as one. And now I'm making it zero. So I can know that if the temp variable is zero, then the number got divided by something. And after that, I want to exit the loop because if my number is divisible by two, then I don't really need to check whether it's divisible by three, four, five, and so on, because I would know right then that that number is not a prime number. So I can just go ahead and exit the loop. There's no point in checking further. So that's why I've written this if statement. Now, once this is done, uh, I'm going to end the loop right here. So I need to write down the keyword end loop. So my loop is over. Now I need to check if the temp variable has changed. Initially, I had made it one. Now I need to check if it has become zero. So if it has become zero, then that means uh, the temp variable did really change. So 
I'm just going to do that. If temp is okay, let me just take it. Okay, if temp is equal to one, that means it did not change here. And if it did not change, that means num the number didn't get divided by anything. So if this is the case, then you can just do dbms underscore output dot put underscore line. And here I'm just going to write down that this is true or the number is prime. And obviously, next I'm going to write down the else part that if temp is not one, then temp must be zero, in which case, obviously, the number is not prime. So I need to mention that dbms output dot put underscore line. And the number is not prime. And then I can just end the if statement, which I started. Once that is done, I can end my code and my program is ready. Uh, and all I need to do now is copy this. So I copied it, control C. Now I'll go to command line and I need to do set server output on. This will make sure that the dbms output dot put line function prints something. So you always need to do this when you start your command line for the first time. Now go to the top bar, edit and paste, program is pasted. Now I can hit enter forward slash to run and it is asking me for the value of n and I'm going to enter the value, um, say in this case, let me enter a prime number. So I'll enter, let's see, let me enter 53. And it successfully prints that the number is prime. And just to make sure, I'm going to run it once again. And this time enter a number that's not prime. So I'm entering 42. And it says number is not prime. Of course, you can try out with more values if you like. Uh, it's always good to test your program with as many inputs as possible. So that's how you can do a prime number program in PLSQL. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.